decimals are fractions whose denominators are 10, 100, 1000, etc. These type of fractions are called decimal fractions or simply decimals. Let's learn more details about decimals. Tenths. Decimal fractions with 10 as a denominator is called a tenth. To represent a fraction with 10 as a denominator as a decimal fraction, just put a dot to the left of the digit in the ones place of the numerator. These are some examples of tenth. Absence of digit to the left or right of the decimal points are represented with zero. For example, 0 0.5, we can write it as 0 0.5. Hundreds. Decimal fraction with hundred as a denominator is called a hundreds. To represent a fraction with hundred as a denominator as a decimal fraction, just put a dot to the left of the digit in the tens place of the numerator. These are some examples. Thousands. Decimal fractions with thousand as a denominator is called a thousands. To represent a fraction with thousand as a denominator as a decimal fraction, just put a dot to the left of the digit in the hundreds place of the numerator. Mixed decimals. When there is a whole number is placed to the left of the decimal point, then that decimal is called a mixed decimal. Decimals have two parts, a whole number part and a decimal part. For example, this number is read as 1.5 and the second number is read as 10.005. The number of digits after the decimal point is known as number of decimal places. Conversion of decimals into common fraction. To convert a decimal into fraction, first count the number of effective decimal points. No need to count the leading zeros to the right of the decimal point. The number formed by one and as many zeros as the decimal points forms the denominator of the fraction. The decimal number without decimal points and leading zeros forms the numerator of the fraction. Let's see some examples. 6.1 Here the number of effective decimal points is 1. So the numerator will be 61 and the denominator will be 10. 4.250 here the number of effective decimal points are 2 and the numerator becomes 425, denominator becomes 100. 0 0.287, here the number of effective decimal points are 3. So the fraction becomes 287 by 1000. 25.0101. Here the number of effective decimal points are 4. So the numerator becomes 25,101. Denominator becomes 10,000. Conversion of fractions into decimal. To convert a fraction into decimal, count the number of zeros in the denominator after 1. Then we need to place a decimal point at that place between the digits of the numerator. We can add zeros to the left if the numerator is short of digits. 5 by 10. Here the number of zeros coming in the denominator after 1 is 1. So the number of decimal points are 1. So the decimal becomes 0 0.5. 41 by 1000. Here the number of zeros coming in the denominator are 3. So the number of decimal points are 3. 
So we need to place the decimal point at that place between the digits of the numerator. So here the numerator is 41. So we are here short of digits. So we can add zeros to the left. So the decimal becomes 0 0.041. Expanded form of decimals. We write the expanded form of decimals with the help of place value chart. Here is a place value chart for decimal numbers up to three places of decimal. We will write the place value of each digit in 745.238. That is 7 hundreds, 4 tenths, 5 ones, 2 tenths, 3 hundreds, 8 thousandths. Like and unlike decimals. Decimals having the same number of decimal points are called like decimals. Decimals having different number of decimal points are called unlike decimals. Conversion of unlike decimals into like decimals. We have already learnt that adding zeros to the right of the decimal point does not change its value. Using this principle, we can add zeros to the right of the decimal point to make unlike decimals into like decimals. Here, 1.25, 5.5 and 2.586 are unlike decimals. So, to convert them into like decimals, we will add zeros to the right of the decimal point. 1.250, 5.500, are now like decimals. Now we have learned the basics of decimals. In the next session, we will learn operations of decimals. Thank you so much for watching. I wish all of you a happy learning.